Hello, my name is Loji, and welcome to the final part of this Playing Over Changes power-up. As usual, if you enjoy this type of instructional material, feel free to check out my Patreon at the link below. And now, let's recap this entire power-up to make sure you know what you're doing. All right, so let me play exactly what you're going to be doing over this final video. It's pretty much parts one through four played nonstop and looped continuously. It'll sound like this starting from part one. Etc. Etc. So once we hit that final C minor, which this time I played like this with a little pinky roll, but again, like we talked about in the previous video, you can grab that note right there. In the video you're about to watch, I definitely roll my pinky, but of course you can do it however you want. But after that phrase, and you hit this E, that is the beginning. That is where we start the whole thing over back to part one. Etc. We run the whole thing. So yeah, that's this whole thing. Again, think about the harmony that's happening. Really listen to how you're traveling through the chords, targeting the chord tones, and see all the different sounds that you can get when you are thinking about those chord tones and trying to match the sounds as they are happening. And again, planning ahead to match the sounds that are about to happen. And you can do this very easily by simply thinking about the chord tones, placing them on the downbeats. You don't have to do that all the time, but that is a great way to really bring out the sounds of the individual chords. So one more thing, another disclaimer about the backing track you're, you're about to play over. Uh, I kind of went a little overboard with the track and it's honestly way too long. It's almost, I think it's either five minutes or almost five minutes of this over and over again. I don't even know how many times we're repeating it. We are running it from 90 to 150, which in of itself is not that difficult, but over a span of five minutes, I found to be quite challenging. Um, it really shouldn't be this long. I kind of, like I said, got carried away with the track and it just happened to be five minutes long. So in the future, I'll try to not make these final videos so long. So don't feel like you have to run the entire thing. You know, if you want the challenge, obviously try to do all five minutes, but you definitely don't have to do that. You can still get a lot out of it by playing half the length or maybe skip ahead to a faster tempo, try to get to the end. But yeah, it's five minutes long. So Sorry about that. Don't feel like you have to do the whole thing, but it is what it is. So hopefully you guys are ready because we're running five minutes of this full thing constantly on loop, nonstop from 90 to 150.
right, that does it for this playing over changes power up. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I really think that the concepts that we're talking about here, focusing on each chord as it happens, targeting the chord tones, placing those notes on strong parts of the beat, although you don't have to do it all the time, is again a very, very potent way to bring out the sounds of each individual chord. And that concept in of itself is one of the best ways to make sure you're always successful and always sounding good regardless of the situation that you find yourself in. As usual, if you enjoyed this type of instruction material, feel free to check out my Patreon at the link below, and I'll see you all in the next one.